It's hard to believe that it's only been a month since Sony Funimation Crunchyroll announced that the Funimation site would be shutting down. With the announcement, there were some concerns by Funimation site users. Well, we are finally starting to get a few answers to some of the questions being asked. The big one is, what will happen to my digital copies? In a recent interview from The Verge with the president of Crunchyroll, Raul Perini, Perini stated a few of the things Crunchyroll would be willing to do to compensate users for the loss of their digital media. Perini states, so it could be that they get access to a digital copy on any of the existing other services where they might be able to access it. It could be a discount access to our subscription service so they can get access to the same shows through our subscription service. So giving access to a digital copy on another service sounds fine to me because that is a one-to-one -one equivalent. The problem is what site is he talking about? Because Crunchyroll has already stated that there is no way to move the digital purchases from Funimation to Crunchyroll and not even all the anime that was offered is on the Crunchyroll site. This leads to the next option and that is getting a discount on the Crunchyroll streaming service. This is the worst option in that you are giving away your right to have access to a digital product you paid for because at some point your discount will expire and the price will be its base price. Also same as before not all the anime is there. To me this is what Crunchyroll would prefer you to do because it is less work for them and it will keep you on a payment plan or their service. Speaking of Crunchyroll trying to dig deeper into your pockets it was initially reported that the price difference from a funny sub to a Crunchy sub would increase by 200%. This was for the legacy subscribers that were on the 599 base plan that had been done away with about two years ago. This was not made clear in the initial reports. This was done to make uniformed pricing across both services. Now, initially, there were a few content creators that took this as a win, taking it that the price of a Crunchy subscription would be decreasing, but that would mean that they care about the anime community, and we know that is far from the truth. In a recent article from Anime News Network, after reaching out to Crunchyroll, ANN was told that amidst rumors of a Crunchyroll price change for subscribers, Crunchyroll told ANN on Thursday that it had no announcements about a price change at this time. The company clarified that some people will experience price changes if they were switching from a Funimation only subscription to Crunchyroll. ANN also inquired about any possible price changes within the next two years, and Crunchyroll responded that it would be improbable to predict a price change for that time frame. If this shows you anything, it should show you not to trust the Western anime industry or any industry, honestly. They are not out to make anime better. They're out to make money. And that's fine. The industry has to make money to survive, but they still have an obligation to the community to give you a product that's worth buying. And it's up to the consumer to not just take it on the jaw whenever Daddy Sony puts these products out and they are worse than the product before.